Hello people, hello beautiful people of Africa. Welcome once again to the UFA Agro Research Center where we just come here to look for the best farming methods, right? Like innovative farming methods. So we are right here in Bonaberry Douala in Cameroon and we started this research on mushroom farming. It's exactly 14 days because we started on the 5th of july 2021 and today is the 19th of july 2021 so exactly 14 days right and remember my last video i just came here and i did what we call the research findings right the last video i did that like last week and a lot of people came and commented and i was so happy i did a response video to that already so you can click on the links and watch that video but every time or every week i'm going to come here to do like some kind of research findings let's just find out how the mycelium is doing, we are going to find out how the substrate bags are doing and we believe that our final results will be out there for you. So if you want to train or you want to learn mushroom farming, then here is the best place because we are actually carrying out research to get the best farming mushroom farming method, right? So without waste of time, you remember last time when I came here, we have about 18 different um, um, uh, substrate bags you know or types or things like that that we are working on okay so let's look at how they are faring right now the first one is just come follow me follow me follow me remember i'm taking you along right i'm taking you along so let's look at the first bag take a look voila this is number one here right this is the first bag that we planted on the fifth of july if you realize here there is actually no sign of colonization and i'll tell you why the reason why this is happening is because we never ever um, kind of like pasteurized. We never ever kind of like pasteurized these bags. So we just took corn cups and then we planted, you know, we inoculated the mycelium inside. So if you can take a look, you can see here, nothing is happening. So now we have um, number two as well. This is number two here. From my, my research findings, nothing is actually happening too. But we hope that maybe something will start, like, you know, colonization will get started. Um, but it is two weeks now and no colonization, no sign of colonization or very little sign. This is number two here. We see some very small amounts of mycelium colonizing, you can see here. So the colonization rate is quite, quite low. So if you also come here, see it's quite low this is the only thing that we see trying to colonize so that's number two and then when you come to number three this was also um a non-pasteurized bag you realize that colonization is quite low as well and then number four very little sign of colonization very very small sign you see the mycelium in there trying to come out so um from every indication just by looking at it, if you don't pasteurize your substrate, it might not do well. But remember, the research is still going on. We are just on day 14. So we are going to still keep monitoring these bags to see how well they would do. So between number one and number four, we are still very skeptical about that, right? So if you are a, mush if you are a mushroom farmer, I mean, share us. Have you ever tried this kind of, you know, share with us. Have you ever tried this kind of, um, you know, uh, mushroom farming? Like you plant in bags that have not been pasteurized or sterilized. I don't know. Well, it's our first time doing this. So let's go to like, you know, number five. Now, number five was quite different. All of these bags were pasteurized. You know, we boiled them for three hours. And we mix, we, we have a control uh, moisture level. But as you can see, we are having some real advanced signs of, of colonization. We can already see mycelium um, picking up already, as you can see here. These are bags number five. But what we also notice here is that, um, what we also notice with bags or with the fifth batch, like bags in you know, number five batch, is that we use uh, the soft sawdust. And that is like slowing down the process because the ones we did even after them are doing f faster than these ones, okay? So it's kind of like really slowing down the process, but um, something is happening in there. Now we are going to look at number six. Just come around. Come around, come around. From this way, we are going to see what how number six is faring. So if you see number six here, it's faring quite well. 
you see that the mycelium is like really colonizing and going down. Look at this one. You see right here. So you see that it starts from here and then it's right here. And um, and if you see the whole back, if you see the whole back, you realize that it's like already halfway gone. Mycelium is already halfway gone, and like half of the back is still uncolonized. So uh, number six is doing quite well. Even if you look at this one right in here, we are seeing some very, very, very good um, incubation happening. This is incubation period, right? So the colonization is happening and it's going down. I think these bags will be the first to have fully colonized um, substrate bags, okay? Now that's, that's like six. So let's look at, um, there was no seven. There was no seven. We're going to go to eight. Now, eight here is also showing some signs of good, good colonization. Remember, you know, this is the incubation period. Um, this is kind of like the incubation period, which is normally kind of three weeks to three to six weeks max. And we're already seeing some real good signs of colonization. So during this period, the mycelium has to like fully colonize the whole substrate back. Um, to show that they are kind of like ready for fruiting, okay? So we are seeing some really good progress in the eight series. We have eight here, I mean some really good progress. But believe me, where we are having the best progress, according to me, like what I've seen so far is the nine series. Because we have nine A, nine B, and nine C. And just take a closer look. Take a closer look at the nines. I mean, you yourself, you see how, how white the mycelium has gone and and it is really really good look at it here look at just look at i mean you've not seen this in any of the other bags right so these are the mycelium really really spreading and eating and going down colonization is happening very very fast and these bags 9a let me see let me see let me see let me see this is my research book right this is the key the research key i'll tell you what's in nine um we planted this line on the 7th of July. You know, we even planted after, like some three days after, um, or two days after. So we planted on the 7th, so it's even just 12 days now. 12 days, and we are having almost a full, or halfway colonized. So there's something right here. Something is happening here that's right. Now, we are going to find out what, uh, we know what the, the substrate mix, and we know exactly the moisture level that we used. So we are having very, very good uh, results from the nine series bags. Let me see, what do we have here? Uh -huh. This is the same thing. See, take a look. Come on, take a look. This is still nine here. Look at all the nine series, right? Just take a look. It's doing very, very well. You see? You see? I just love this. I love this. I'm, I'm excited when I see this. Okay, we're going to turn around um, and go to 10. Just follow me, follow me, follow me. All right, now this is the 10 series. Something is wrong here, believe me. If you see this, we are having some green molds, right? These are green molds here on the 10 series. But just this bag, that's why we're trying to isolate this bag. This other bag is still 10, and this one is fine. So there must have been some kind of error or some kind of problem on this other bag that's having this green mold. But you realize that 10 is also doing very well. This bag is bigger, but we have more colonization happening in those bags, okay? All right. Sure. Now we are on 12. I mean, 11, we did 11, but, you know, we planted them in the rooms. We didn't hang them like this. So we are on now on 12, and believe me, 12 was planted on the 10th of July. 10th of July means this is just nine days. So something right is happening here. Come closer and take a look. 12 also is already like halfway colonized. Halfway colonized. You can see it right here. These are the 12 bags. 12B. You have up to 12J here. And 12A is here as well. Look at 12A. You see? 12A here. Believe me, it's almost half, and it's just nine days. Something is happening here. And that's part of the research, right? We are going to let this out. You know, if you're interested, come to UFA Research Center. Let's tell you what's happening in these bags. This is doing well. We'll keep monitoring them. And I am going to show you now 11, right? Let's go. Let me show you 11. 
action. So all the 11 series, we decided to put it here in some kind of dark room and we didn't hang them like that to see how different they are going to behave. So if you see here, we are having 11 series. No, this is 13. Let me see. 11 should be somewhere right here. Yeah, you see this is 11A. And if you see, if you look at it carefully, it's also doing quite well. We are having some colonization happening. And we are going to find out exactly which um, which one is going to colonize first, like which one is going to finish colonizing the bags, okay? So we left that here on the floor just to see how well they will do. Remember, it's an experiment. And all the things you see here, like they're like mushroom seeds, which we have um, we have duplicated or, or multiplied. Like this one here, it's a mushroom seed, which we have multiplied. So if you also want to start your mushroom farm and you need mushroom seeds, you can contact us at UFA Research Center and you're going, we're going to supply them to you. Look, everything here, it's all mushroom seeds that we've multiplied for our next planting. And they're actually now, you know, colonizing as well. Very quality mushroom seeds and you can use them for your farm anytime, okay? So guys, that was like, you know, everything we're doing here. And as I said, it's a continuous research. So if you're watching me right now and you want to follow us like by asking any questions while we are doing the research, I'll also read your, your comments and I'm going to answer your questions, right? The idea is to follow us while we do the research. Right now, what I'm having is like mushroom seeds. As I said, quality seeds for your mushroom farm. If you also want to start a mushroom farm, then you can always contact us and get one of these and start okay it doesn't cost anything you just need to call us the numbers on the screen and get started also if you are interested in mushroom farming or in any other kind of agro research contact us let's talk because we want to build a team of researchers who are interested to come up with new ways of doing you know things that we've been doing for ages right New, new new innovative ways that is what we want to come up with here in um at the urban farmers association so contact us and then we are going to discuss about your research this is not the only research we're going to be doing here we're going to be doing a lot of other researches here and yours can also be part of it okay so i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching bye bye